Hi everybody, welcome to my latest update on Brooklyn, New York. Made a lot of changes in the last two days, uh, mostly just rearranging these buildings. Um, I put the TV tower back next to the Avengers Tower, um, just really to get all my tall commercial buildings into the same area of the uh, city. Just feels more natural that way. This way I can go from the small residential light commercial area to the more heavy uh, commercial area and slowly transition. So I'll have two base plates in the back there to build on. Uh, I'm gonna end up tearing those two buildings apart. And then that will tie into like the skyscraper section of the city. Um, that means that the plaza area is gone, um, but it also means that I'll have two and a half base plates along this side to build on. Right now, since I don't have anything, I just kept it as a massive plaza and I can use it for um, my Halloween party parade um, display that I'll show you in a second. Um, that also means that I'm gonna have to order uh, another base plate because I ordered uh, one of each type. I actually need two straights to finish off this area. So when I get that, uh, hopefully in the next day or two. So like I said, right now I have this set up just as a plaza for this Halloween uh, party festival that's going on. But eventually I'm gonna be building uh, bunch of buildings. I don't know if I want to put um, actual Lego um, official modulars in here. I have assembly square and I have the cinema and both of those would fit well here but I don't think I want to go that route. I think I'm just going to do some more custom builds but I don't have anything planned right now so this is going to be empty space for now and I think the first buildings I'm going to work on are back there. Um, I'm thinking I will have a car dealership on the ground floor of this building and then it will somehow tie into the other building so it'll be uh, on two 32 by 32 base plates it'll all tie in together so um, with this new setup I managed to expand the Halloween party greatly um, we still have all the trick-or-treaters out um, visiting the different townhouses and then over here we still have a whole bunch of just townspeople coming out to watch the parade. And then this is the parade. Uh, we have some Marvel characters in the back. There's the cave people. There's a ghost float. Oops, got somebody else. Um, here are the Disney characters all together. And then over here is the Star Wars guys. Uh, this whole entire parade is being filmed by that guy. There's a guy on the roof filming. They're going to be broadcasting it via the Lego TV tower. Um, over here we still have that train. I like the way I embedded the train track in there. Uh, I might do something like that along this road when I f figure out how to try to set up that tram, but we'll see. Um, over here at the zombie mausoleum, uh, the, the organizer of the parade party is giving a trophy for the best costume to this uh, witch lady. And this is being filmed and televised live. Um, we have a whole bunch of display set up. Uh, Chichir Cat's getting its picture taken with uh, one of these ghost floats. Uh, this lady is visiting a werewolf. Um, over to here, we have a setup of a little food court area for the two food trucks to come out. Uh, people ordering food. Looks like there's a bigger line for the turkey legs than there is for the sandwich. And then just a bunch of other stuff. Um, um, I'd like putting together these type of displays. Um, it allows me to use a bunch of the minifigs that I just have sitting around. 
Um, I think I might do it more often. But we'll see. Um, right now, this will probably stay out until at least Halloween. Um, because I don't know, really know what I'm going to put in this uh, plaza area at all. And, yeah. So, this will stay out for a little while at least. I'll probably play around with it, mix it up a bunch. Um, so maybe I'll make another update showing it. Maybe I won't. Um, don't know. I'm expecting a bunch of my Lego stuff. The, the stuff that I ordered from lego.com um, to get that free poly bag. So hopefully I can get to work on uh, a little Lego store for my uh, for my flat iron building. Thank you all for watching this update on Brooklyn. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, uh, click notification. Coming up next on this channel, I'm going to get to work on the ground floor of my Flatiron building. Um, definitely going to put it on a Lego store and a little newspaper coffee stand type thing. And then the other floors, um, I started ordering a few of the small friend sets to try to like build different, I don't know, companies that are going to be inside the building. So we'll see about that. Um, anyway, thanks. Bye.